Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Samantha with Top Dog Tips, and today I am making this guide on home remedies for respiratory infections in cats. Upper respiratory infections are quite common in cats. The symptoms can usually be managed at home. If you have a young kitten, a senior cat, or your cat has any underlying health conditions, you will want to reach out to your veterinarian and just let them know what's going on and see what they recommend. Um, if you notice signs of a breathing problem, because in those ages and um, with other health conditions, it could be some kind of underlying condition and you just want to make sure you get that checked out. If your cat is otherwise healthy, these home remedies should help. Upper respiratory infections can be caused by viruses or bacteria and they affect the nose, throat, and sinuses, not the lungs. So you're not gonna hear the congestion, the coughing that you would think of with um, a respiratory infection in humans, but you're gonna notice some symptoms like coughing, sneezing, a runny nose. Um, you may hear congestion in the sinuses and the no nasal passages. It's not gonna be coughing and congestion from the lungs, but more so um, up in the nasal region. Uh, you might see nasal and eye drainage. Your cat could have a fever, a decreased appetite, lethargy. So there's some uh, signs to look for. If there's just one thing, you might not be dealing with an upper respiratory infection, but if you notice uh, two or three of those signs together, then you can be sure that your cat is suffering with a respiratory infection. The vast majority of respiratory infections are viral. Um, about 80% of them are viral, and this means that there really isn't a whole lot that your veterinarian is gonna be able to do. Antibiotics aren't going to treat anything. Um, they can probably help you manage the symptoms, but that's about it. So if you're looking to avoid the vet and to try some home remedies first, um, these things can help. Just monitor your cat because if things start to get worse or you're noticing that the symptoms aren't clearing up after a few days, then it's time to call your vet because it could be a sign that something else is wrong. As I said, it's not typically something to worry about and the home remedies are things that you probably have right around your house or stuff that you would think of to do for uh, an animal that's not feeling well, just as you would for a human that's not feeling well. So the first home remedy um, and the thing that you're gonna wanna do is make sure that your cat's getting plenty of rest. That's when the body is resting and healing. So you wanna make sure, um, cats typically sleep a lot anyway and with an upper respiratory infection they may be more lethargic um, and you know a little bit lazier than normal so just make sure they have a comfortable bed that's located somewhere quiet in your home and also in a warm area if you have a heat source maybe close to that um, the warmer the better uh, a lot of times just as you would with a human that's not feeling well uh, you know just just being in that warm quiet space would be really beneficial um, you're also going to need to encourage your pet to eat if they're not eating and or they're not eating enough, their body is going to be weaker. Their immune system's not going to work as well. So typically, you know, you don't feel like eating when you're not feeling well, and probably your cat won't either. So you have to encourage them to eat, um, especially with an upper respiratory infection. Their sense of smell and taste might be um, off or not as strong as normal. So try to feed them things that are really gonna entice them to eat, like wet cat food. Um, this is a homemade recipe that I've shared that might entice your cat to eat a little bit. It's high in protein. Um, it should be really good. There's some uh, fresh vegetables in there that will help get the vitamins he needs to try to get some energy and maybe get back on track. Um, you could also, as I said, use canned cat food or try some tuna, mix that maybe with his dry kibble or just feed that to him um, you know, by itself. You definitely don't wanna feed like a homemade diet or um, just canned tuna or anything like that long-term. Um, the homemade diets could be fed long-term, but you're gonna to wanna to talk to your veterinarian before doing so just to make sure it's providing balanced nutrition for your pet. But things like tuna fish shouldn't be fed as your cat's only uh, food. So for a day or two just to get them to eat while they're not feeling well is fine, but definitely not long-term. You also wanna keep your cat's face clean. So you're gonna to wanna to wipe any discharge from the eyes or nose. Um, you can do it with a wet cloth or a grooming wipe. Keep a close eye on your cat so that the discharge doesn't build up, but also keep a close eye on the discharge because if it starts to turn colors, if you're seeing a yellowish, greenish discharge, um, that's when things are getting a little bit more serious. And if it's not getting better quickly, you're gonna wanna check in with your veterinarian and just let them know what's going on um, and see if they'd like to see your cat in the office because that could be a sign that something more is going on than just an upper respiratory infection. 
If you notice the congestion that I was talking about, the sinuses are all congestion, lots of sneezing, lots of coughing, um, you can bring your cat into the bathroom while you run hot water in the shower. The steam from the hot water, breathing it in, just like in people, is going to help clear out those sinuses, clear out the congestion, and help your cat breathe a little bit better. So all you're gonna do is go into the bathroom, shut the door, turn the hot water on, and then um, sit in there with your cat for 15 to 20 minutes if you can. Um, 20 minutes to a half an hour would be really great, but most cats, you know, they don't like to sit still or be confined in a room for that long. So if your cat's getting a little antsy, um, you know, 15 to 20 minutes should do it. But if you get to the 20 minute, half an hour mark, you know you've done um, enough. And that's definitely, like I said, you should already notice a clearing up of the sinuses, your cat breathing a little bit easier, maybe the cough things subsiding. Um, so definitely, you know, getting in the steam, that's a, a big one and really easy to do. If left untreated, upper respiratory infections in cats can lead to serious conditions like pneumonia, chronic breathing problems. Um, so it's a really important, like I said, monitor your cat, watch the symptoms, allow them to rest, try and keep their face clean, give them a little bit of time in the steam, um, you know, do all of those things. But if you see things getting worse, if it's been three days and the symptoms aren't getting any better, reach out to your veterinarian. That's when it's time to make an appointment and take them in. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you like these home remedies and these tips for helping your cat with an upper respiratory infection feel better, be sure to click the like button on the video and subscribe to our channel. There's also a little bell down there and that will subscribe you to our notifications so you get updates every time I post new content and you can check that out. I post everything from home remedies to homemade recipes and treats, product reviews, lots of tips and tricks for grooming and caring for your pets. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Be sure to reach out via email if you have any questions.